action. How tickled I am, how tickled I am to have you on board today. I'm Professor uh, Rufus Chucklebutty. I graduated from the University of Titterton, uh, a few miles up the A58 from Notty Ash, at, near the Jam Butty Mines on Junction 3. Welcome aboard today. It is March the 18th, 2022. I am joined here by a uh, legendary John Brace producer, Goldie, and his uh, assistant, Arthur Shelby. Welcome aboard. It is another glorious day in the UK. Um, bit of a hiatus in the videos recently because I was told I had to uh, withhold on the filming of the videograms. Check in the offside mirror because you often get people overtaking you on this roundabout. You best improve that throttle response very quickly, young man, because I ain't lifting. Truly extraordinary. Any indication? None whatsoever. Sick. So, today it's black bins, so I'll be in the vehicle a great deal of the time, but I shall certainly help in my uh, waste ambassadors in getting that mess picked up. Um, Enjoy us today, it is 5 degrees presently, due to be 13, 14 later on. Life is good, life is well. Uh, we're at 6,000 subscribers now. Wowee, thank you. Um, when I started doing all these videos, I didn't necessarily anticipate that I would have quite the outreach and the interaction I've had out of yourselves. The viewers, the commenters, the sharers, the subscribers. So thank you all very much for that. Most popular video was the previous one, uh, episode 16, which is at last count, I believe, 220,000 views. Uh, I believe it was on the, uh, picked up by the YouTube algorithm. So it went mad and it was recommended to a great many number of you. So thank you for the warmth and positivity. Uh, today we're in a 2019 Dennis, uh, standard bin lift, so twin, uh, single operation vehicle with a twin lift on the back, uh, decent motor, Bluetooth hands-free, uh, ESP anti-skid program, it's not a bad vehicle, hot and cold as well, which is always welcome, whoa, so uh, not far from the yard today, that ours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start here then. Beacon's hazards, checking the mirrors, now I'm behind. Don't know what matey's doing. Don't know. She's crossing, so lift is on. At Beacon's hazards. I overshot it slightly, but I wasn't sure if they started here or somewhere else. So arms were down when we started. I hit the auto, so it should just work. So yeah, life is well. Uh, thank you all for asking after King. King the Greyhound is doing very well, thank you. Special dog that he is. So yeah, I hope you're all well out there. Yeah, we're gonna do gonna pull us right up. Done. Done, girl. Black bin. We'll do her later then, we'll yeah, have to come back yeah. for that. We're not waiting. So left here. Yeah, I wanna try and get those biggest turdies done first. Of course, on account of parking and schools and what have you. Yep. <clears throat> so where now? Straight on, straight, straight, straight. Yep, straight on. Right. Very good. That one now? Yeah, yeah, we're doing these two and then we're taking a left here, right? Sure Back thing. Here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Greyhounds. Let's see if I can time this well. So he's chucked his bag in, we'll drive forward to sort matey out. Morning. I'm definitely gonna have to talk to her. And break neutral. Morning. Sorry to interrupt you. I've got a greyhound at home, pretty similar to matey. May I have a stroke? They're beautiful dogs. Hello, friends. Are they both females? Yes. Yeah, they look small. Now I've got a uh, male brindle, very similar to her. Hello. Oh, lovely, isn't they? Very soft coat. Really soft. Hey. Now, nah, great. Perfect. Yeah, so I do um, fish oil. Yeah, I do a fish oil pump with my guy as well, so every meal. Scottish salmon oil. Yeah. Good to hear. Where'd yeah. you get these Clark's Farm or? Clark's Farm, yeah. Yeah, so I might as Ashwell's in Brentwood. Oh, okay. RGT dog. Hey. 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 No, gorgeous, lovely things. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Absolutely beautiful souls today. Blessed. You have a good day, friend. Non negotiable, that was an interruption that had to be made. Right, onwards. Seatbelt. Blind spot, let's go. We'll zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Right, left, right, forwards. Right, left, right. Very good. And then we're going to work down that bit of the road. There's a couple of new gaffs on the main drag, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it's about a good six 
Any indication? What we're doing, what we're doing, what we're doing. Oh, there it is, very good. In anticipation of uh, directional changes. Super duper. Onwards. We're zooming, we're vibing. Are you doing well, gentlemen? Yeah, we are. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. Dream team. Small dogs. Dream team. We are storming it. What, we only just started, mind. Nothing doing? Okay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, stationary. Bonk. Handbrake for their departure. That beep you just heard is a um, anti-theft measure. We'll let make you chuck his bags in the back. There is a sensor. It's meant to go around your belt loop, but if you do that, it's difficult to get it on the sensor consistently. There's a small leather pouch, this fella, that you sit here, and every time you open and close the doors, if it doesn't beep, the engine will turn off. So it's an anti-theft slash anti-terrorism measure, which I can entirely understand. It's like this can be potentially an extraordinarily devastating weapon in the wrong hands. Un unlaid and it's 14 ton, full it's 26. Um, much as like the, uh, I think it was Nice, I think there was a German Christmas market, Nice, the London Bridge attacks, of course, in a motor car, but the, I'm sure the European ones use HGVs. Catastrophic loss of life, real terrible uh, terrorist events. And uh, yeah, no, you can't let these vehicles fall in the wrong hands. But these, they're fitted to like the 68, 69 plates, and then they got rid of it. So perhaps the uh, manufacturer got negative feedback from lo drivers, loaders, and uh, clients who rent these vehicles. And they don't anymore. Driving wrong, mate. Understood. Yeah, because some of these vehicles, there's a sensor here, and there's a wristband, you're meant to wear, you're meant to go beep. But many of us tuck it, there's a gap here where I'm running my finger. You tuck the set, the, uh, the wristband there, that noise, and it hangs down and it defeats the, the, the object of the exercise. <clears throat> Come on, girl. Come on, be assertive. Uh, right, I'm going then. I'm going, because I've got the double lines. Hang on, I have to lean out the window to show you. So we cross the roundabout, thank you, girl. So look, that, double lines, mini roundabout. Whoever arrives, when you, all three arrive, the person with double lines gets to continue. Not left. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah, mate. We're going to grab the bins, see where these railings are. It's going to be yes. two bins this side. It's going to be one bin this side. We're going to go and grab these and run to the back. Way. Where exactly? I'm not seeing them yet. Right, I'll overshoot it then so people can see through the crossing. So number 70, whatever that is. Okay. I'll be here. Do you want to come out? I'll be here. I need to quickly write down this address, lest we uh, have to come back for this another time. Number seven, but I'll also do 7E. Backfield, yeah? Yeah, backfield, M-A-T. Oh. And then when we get, they're going to go past this turn, done. They're going to go straight down the main road, do all the bins on the left hand side. After the, the bus stop? Yeah, yeah, we're going to spin it round. Where? Well, oh, roundabout, come back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so what mine does, we'll then run in. Mind your bottom? There, turning there on the right. Okay. And then we'll in which time I'll be meeting you. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, understood. Yeah, so that mini roundabout back there, when you have the double giveaway lines, if all three vehicles arrive at once, or there's any confusion, the person with double lines has priority. Not right of way. It's like the 15th century. We ain't riding horses. It's not right of way, it's priority. But you always have to give way to people on the right. Mini roundabouts operate the same as a large roundabout, such as you're about to see shortly, but because of their small size and their immediacy of contact, woo, people get very confused. So uh, always take mini roundabouts gently, gently, gently. And I'll be very assertive, or be, and in addition, be extremely observant of what everyone else is doing, because because of how li the likelihood of um, inter-vehicle contact, if you will, yeah, gets a bit naughty. So I'll wait for uh, Goldie to come and join us again. Uh, whip your head off, hat off, young man, Arthur Shelby. Um, <laughs> right, Goldie's back aboard now. Cool, cool, cool. Bit of parkour there, my guy. Very acrobatic. <laughs> you still got it. Wheat's a bit. Well, these could be in a better location, right on a zebra crossing. Uh, I'll probably nudge it at the bus stop and I shall join you. So if you, uh, no, I'm not gonna hop about in this hour. Bus stop, I know there's a bus behind me, but it's better than sitting on zigzags again. So a bit more, bit more, bit more. <laughs> Clear line of sight for pedestrians. Right, so. Three points contact dismount, they can leap out. I should do three points. 
So like, I've got my gloves. I'll quickly bung one of my bins on, on account of how close I am. They're the bouncy, crashy Enviros I mentioned in a previous video. Oh, good lord, the road noise is mental. Good. As I've said previously, try and pick up rubbish that ain't yours. So, although I would, uh, <coughs> excuse me, vulgar, is that what porridge I've had? Oh, it's got a splash there. That's silly. Um, as much as I would rather recycle that, I was going to quickly wipe the lens, ensure it's clean. Very good. Yeah, as much as I would rather recycle that, we can't in this vehicle, so it's better just get it off the road, disgusting though it may be. So give mate your chance to get in if he wants, only if he wants to. He wants to walk, so that's fine, checking the mirrors. We're vibing, we're cruising. So we're approaching quite a substantial junction here, so we'll uh, take it gently and slowly. Despite uh, bringing a pretty decent, would you believe, mm -mm, this is at my own car, uh, glass cleaner in this morning. I've noticed the near side mirror's not too keen, so once we get mateys loaded up, We'll roll forward a few feet. I've taken the belt off, but I'm doing a journey less than a few meters. Highway code 50 meters. So a bit more, bit more, bit more. Stop, handbrake, neutral, cloth and spray. Oh, come on. There we go. So I've got the heated mirrors on, hence why it's steaming. I always have the heated mirrors on because I can't, I, I, I can't be dealing with poor visibility. Let's quickly do that. Cyclist mirror. I did it earlier anyway, but let's do a quick polish up now that it's drying up a bit. There we go, look at that. Safety. Mm -mm. Flip it to another side so it's dry, give us a buff, 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 buff. Handsome looking dog. Let's have a look, see. Better. Good. So down that down there for drying. Off. Uh, let's dump it there. Good. They're running in the road, so I've got to go to this roundabout. Come on. Beacons of hazards. Indicate, mirror, blind spot. So yes, round about, turn round, come back up the hill, nice and clear, good and clear. We're going. <coughs> yeah. Woo. Uh, 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 quite a major roundabout's been changed. Many more lanes, buses and motorcyclists and all that business. Indicating right, nibble this hatch so I can make the turn for this bit. Checking the blind spot. Should you can hear me, you gonna pull out across the front of me? Oh wow, no kidding. Well, thank you very much, bless your soul. Coming off, all right. So left, again, food, uh, Violia, I'll give him a wave. Not that he reciprocated mine, he probably wasn't expecting a wave from us, but they're in the same industry, so a bit of love, bit of love. Yeah. Indicating. So looking into the road, beacon's back on. Understood. So once we've got these few bins on, we'll uh, be reversing left. Oh, cars, 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 cars. We'll quickly get these ready. So there's what, three, four bins going on. By the time they've uh, got them done, I'll roll forwards to get this reverse sorted. Good. So I'll drag it over a bit as well for th throughway traffic. So, handbrake neutral, let the compactor do its thing, keep the vehicle safe and uh, secured, if you will, by use of the handbrake. Because people have mentioned before in the comments, excuse me, why do I use a handbrake so frequently? I think it's just good practice that if the vehicle is not to be driven in the immediate tense, that it's a good idea to. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Secure the vehicle from any uh, unwanted movement. Say so if you're incapacitated at the wheel or something goes wrong, you're distracted, whatever, that vehicle is still going to remain stationary, especially when you've got people behind you, man. Very ha potentially very hazardous job, this. So, crew safety is my utmost priority every day. I've upset some numerous people, like when I've, well, I've been here some time now, so I've worked with down here, everyone in this gaff. I've said to people like, when it's their first time, it's like your priority, your safety is my utmost priority, it's paramount we do this properly. If we can't do a bin safely, the bin gets left. I'm not putting people underneath the vehicle, I'm not crashing into motors uh, for sake of a bin. So, what to talk about? Um, 
all is well this end. One day blurs into the next. Uh, chase the weekends, enjoy the days as best as we can. There we go. Uh, as much as I said earlier on, King the Greyhound's doing very well. He's a special boy. Very similar to the, uh, well, you can look at the videos on my channel. He looks very similar to that little Brindle one we saw earlier. So big old grey face, grey chest, brown stripey bits all over else. Um, car's good. Diesel though, good lord, diesel's gone up a bit, innit? Whew. I say we're all grumbling and groaning when it was 143, 145. Now it's, well, in Chelmsford this morning, I believe it was 180 at Sainsbury's as I drove past. But yeah, 176, 166 in some areas, but yeah, 170 odd, 175 is by and large the norm now. Um, yeah, trying times, not good. Of course, with the war in uh, Ukraine, occupation, incursion, annexation, whatever word you wish to use. Um, yeah, not good. Real, real uh, stories of tragedy every day. And my heart goes out to them people. And hopefully we can come to some sort of peaceable resolution soon. Because no one wants a conventional war, much less a nuclear one. I visited Ukraine back in 2017. I, stayed, I went to Kiev, or Kiev, Kiev, and uh, visited the uh, Chernobyl zone, <coughs> Chernobyl nuclear power plant, in the forbidden zone, exclusion zone, I should say. So I did two days in the exclusion zone, staying in a Soviet style hotel. I had a private tour. So it was myself, a driver and a tour guide, Alex, and Sasha, I believe was the driver. Oh, you're eager, ain't ya? This was way back in uh, May, 2017. Um, and I, I chartered a tour with a Chernobyl Tours, like the main slash largest operator of tours in the uh, place of historical scientific interest. Uh, incredible, truly extraordinary. Um, yeah, bucket list, very much tick that one off. And uh, yes, yeah, so we did two days in the Forbidden Zone, or well, two nights, I should say, so three days. Um, and then I also chartered through the same company a uh, tour to the Strategic Missile Forces Base, nuclear weapons to you and I, um, which was uh, on the highway to Odessa. Right, I need to reverse, we'll let this car pass first, because they're not gonna give me the clemency I need. For the sake of a few seconds, get him sorted. There we go. Keeps out the way. There we go. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, so uh, nuclear forces, strategic rocket forces base, basically nuclear bombs in shell in uh, silos. A uh, lot of very interesting exhibits. Old ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, actual rockets, warheads, missiles. Of course, very much deactivated since the nineties. Um, truly extraordinary museum. Quite surreal, like just the sheer scale of a bit more there of these things it's truly they've only got two three so there's no need for me to get out it, it would waste time for me to walk back there um i sat at a launch control computer and launched a missile truly uh bone chilling stuff how near on a couple of occasions that we came to nuclear war um and then on the fifth day i, I also booked through them a uh shooting range in Kiev itself, Kiev city. Uh, that was brilliant, AK-47s, Droganov SVDs, uh, Mosin Nagant, uh, Z-15 carbine, brilliant day out. Um, yeah, beautiful country. Oh, I really enjoyed my time in Ukraine and I sorely hope that we can uh, peaceably wrap up what's going on out there. Not only for the tragic loss of life on both sides, of course, war has multiple uh, combatants but to keep to uh, bring peace to the region so the tragic images you see on the news and in the papers every day is that's just merely scratching the surface of the misery that's going on much less the mass displacement of all its citizens <sighs> terrible I can't remember how we got onto this subject well, it's, it's inescapable in the news currently but I can't remember in the timeline of this video how I brought this up it was inevitable though, wasn't it? Um, mm. Drive right. A bit more, good. So I was quite happy to get out there, but mate, he's uh, beat me to the punch and he's gone and dragged that bin back. Yeah, 
So what else is going on? Um, I don't know, I suppose we can discuss books and films perhaps. So presently I'm reading uh, Harry's Game by Gerald Seymour, a uh, TV series in the early 80s. But this is Gerald Seymour's first book. I think it was published in 1975. Um, and I must have an early edition because that's the newest year that I can see in print in the uh, inside cover. Brilliant book, I'm very much enjoying it. So a very brief synopsis is, uh, during the Troubles of course, Belfast, the Falls Road, um, an IRA agent travels to London and assassinates a former minister who served in Northern Ireland and, li and lives in London. Assassinates him on his doorstep in front of his family. He escapes back to uh, Belfast and it's very high government level response. The Prime Minister personally sanctions a mission to find the man and capture him and either do a rendition and take him back to the UK or just, I don't think they want to kill him outright. I think they do want to capture him and put him to trial. So I'm about halfway through the book currently. Very good book, enjoyable. Do like a bit of Gerald Seymour. Um, good author, he's still with us I believe. The way I discovered him, uh, do like an audio cassette in my car. Do, I'm, I'm keen, I have a penchant for uh, the audio cassettes. And um, a voice that I do like, because a voice is much as important as the subject matter, Brian Cox, the Scottish actor. So the original Hannibal Lecter, Striker in the X-Men films. I believe he was in Troy as well. Um, yeah, Brian Cox, Scottish actor. McLeavy on BBC Radio 4, the, uh, Ed the uh, Edinburgh detective. Glaswegian possibly, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're getting bogged down here. Brian Cox, like his voice, audio cassette. The first one of his I got, had him narrating, was uh, The Journeyman Taylor by Gerald Seymour. Similar premise, IRA operative, attempted assassination of a politician in London, Accident, well, puts a car bomb on a vehicle, but the, uh, the wife and the children take the car rather than the ordinary politician. The intelligence has been fouled up, wrong target's been assassinated. <clears throat> so there's his, his flight back to the uh, Northern Ireland provinces, uh, Dungannon, Cookstown, Stewartstown, Belfast, all these places get mentioned throughout the book. And how they send a British agent in and they uh, have a snout, a tout, someone who informs on the IRA, Mossy, Mossy Nugent, Songbird. Brilliant book. Excellent audio play. Oh, drop, has he got that? Did he drop them bags? Yeah, I thought he did. Um, yeah, brilliant book. The Journeyman Taylor. Fantastic. I've read it one, twice now and I've listened to the audio cassette multiple times. Really good audio play. Uh, try, have I read any more of his? I've also got uh, oh, another audio cassette I've got in the car. When, you, when I did the car cleaning video, interior, I briefly showed it The Fighting Man. Guatemala, mass genocide, civil war. A bunch of Guatemalans go around the world trying to contact mercenaries or freedom fighters to come and help them. They contact uh, Gordon Brown, like the Prime Minister, in Scotland, and he comes and helps them fight them. There's a big flamethrower battles and machine guns and helicopters. Good book, good audio book. Not read the paperback yet. Cool. Excellent. Driving up this one, yes? Nah, I was a bit fat down there, but it's wrong. Where's that way to turn around? Close the door, please. I'll spin it. I'll spin it. He gets bins ready. I'll spin. I was too busy talking nonsense about books. Did you relay that instruction? Because I'll watch it back later. We'll, we'll bash you up in the comments, bruv, if you're wrong. Did you say that you wanted me to reverse up there? No. Ah, there we go then. You didn't say it. Did you do wavy hands? No. Well, there you go then. But I've got eyes, I should have, cheeky cat. I should have looked up the road, shouldn't I? I should have seen that it was a no through road. Does the, no, but the road, in fairness, I'll go gently, gently, gently into the night. Uh, street name sign. That doesn't have a no through road, but it's a close. So normally it's a given that there's not enough space at the top to spin round. But sometimes they end in a T, so you yeah. can drive into one and then reverse the other, but not to be in this instance. Oh, excellent. So, excuse the silence. Boring, boring, I'm now. 
both to the occupant, geezer, and also you watching at home, or on a train, or on a walk, or if you've got headphones in your pocket and you're doing something else, or headphones in your head, phone in the pocket. So we're vibing, we're vibing, I would say about here. I would deem reasonable. Cool, cool. Splendid. So yes, uh, do, 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 do. Now, we'll do these two. I've just seen that one tucked right at the bottom of that person's gaff. And I shall extend an olive branch and I'll have a check. That's not, assi that's not assisted, is it? Okay. But a bit of generosity and love, I'll go and check. We'll come back to them. I'll uh, dispense with what I call a courtesy coupon. So a couple of times a day, I'll go above and beyond something to really help someone out. If I get burnt or people are rude. Nah, it's not worth doing. Um, and yeah, them courtesy coupons get rescinded pretty quickly. Thank you, sir. Just check we've got a flashing red light. Yes, good, excellent. So I've had that before when I've recorded stuff. Well, what I, I, I thought I pressed the button firmly enough to record, waffled on for a while, only to find the thing didn't record at all. And of course, uh, it's very difficult to replicate moments, especially when you're not uh, reading off no hymn sheet. The uh, nonsense and uh, waffle that I expunge. Yes. Electricity fires across the receptors and neurons in my brain and nonsense tumbles out my mouth. I don't necessarily think of the sentences, not all of them, before I uh, wheeze them out of my lungs. But certainly I do think of some subjects, I think, oh, okay, try and format it and try and get these quotes in there, but yes. Cool. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, life's good, life is well. It's a beautiful sunny day. Woke up today, so that's that's a bonus. Waking up's good, still got my health. Yeah. Payday today, whoopee. So clear credit cards and the, uh, well, credit card singular. Top up the savings, so on and so forth. Yeah, been with this crew all week now. Good team, good workers, good synergy. Oh, dreadful middle management term. No, we make a good team, we do, we do okay. Storming days work out quicker than they normally accomplished. So yeah, we're doing okay. Cool, cool. So yeah, as I said earlier, there's not gonna be a great deal of me operating the bins today in the fact this wait for a beep. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not operating the bins as much today as I would be on recycling, so it's going to be a lot of this, I'm afraid. If that's your uh, boat floater, lucky for you. If not, there's not much I can offer you, I'm afraid. This is what it is. It is what it is. Cool, cool. All good. Yes. In the hood. Always in the hood. <laughs> good film. Very good film. Yeah, that work straight up, Dad. Yes. Back in on the lift. Yes. Drive up, up on the right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a rather neglected Opal Manta in a driveway, isn't there? A white car covered in moss. You'll see it later, up in the top corner. If it's the one, if if, if we are, if where we are is where I think it is, you'll see it later. So roll forward a bit. So try and bring the back level, so I can see a line in the road. That's the line. So hopefully there should be a minimal of directional changes. You know, try and make it as easy as possible for them and get the vehicle in a place whereby they can uh, just walk the bins for the minimum amount of distance possible. I'm here to uh, assist, not hinder. Onwards. So yeah, films, films, films. Let's talk about films. Wowie. Uh, God, I've seen many over the years. Used to be a keen love film subscriber. Remember that? The old DVDs in the post. Get one, send one, get one, send one. Um, got Netflix now, but don't use it near, near often enough. I say my film watching was much more prolific in the past. So, Boys in the Hood, very good film. Equally, uh, Menace to Society is also very good. Come on, yeah, should be able to make the swing from where we were. 
nah, not worth a smashing, not worth a smashing. So I'll reverse back a bit, get a bit more lock. What other films? Christ, so many. I say cr thrillers, crime, war, drama, historical, biography. There's so many films. Mainstays, stuff I like. Godfather, Godfather Part 2, Goodfellas, Mean Streets, uh, try and do crime ones first, uh, Casino, Scarface, uh, American Gangster was pretty good, uh, God, so many, so many, more than I could possibly begin to number, Science of the Lambs, Manhunter, Red Dragon, Hannibal, uh, Heat, do like a Michael Mann film. Uh, he, Thief, a very, I think that was his, that was his first film, wasn't it? James Kahn, 1981. Thief, good film, look it up. Sound, soundtrack by Tangerine Dream. Uh, what else? So many. Die Hard. Well, the first, I would say the original trilogy of Die Hards, and it tapered off. At least it had the original actor Bruce Willis in it, but no, as far as I'm concerned, the first three are the best in order of viewing, although each individual film is still very good. Because many people didn't like Die Hard 2, but I thought it was a really good film. The old airport, Dulles International. Windsor 114. <laughs> Windsor 114, you're clear to land. Oh, good film. Uh, Mad Max 1 and 2. Third one, we, we tried to forget about that one, on account that there's hardly any cars and it's... No, no. But Mad Max 1 and 2 as evidenced by that tattoo. Incredible films, love them. Especially Road Warrior. Oh, wicked film. Alien, Aliens. So Ridley Scott and then uh, James Cameron. Aliens, as evidenced here. See if you can see it in the mirror. So Ripley, Newt, Flamethrower. They mostly come at night, mostly. I say we take off and nuke the whole site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Aliens, fantastic film in a similar vein with the old James Cameron, Terminator 1 and 2, bangers, especially number two. Truly an example of a sequel improving on the original formula. Oh man, Terminator 2, sick. Hang on, let me make you run across. Okay, I was gonna drive, but I was gonna, yeah, okay. I was gonna reverse it up so we could drive out, but whatever's easy for these fellas. So they're the poor buggers that gotta load it. Terminator 2, many years ago was the first film I watched on a surround sound system at home. So the original, the initial introduction narration and then boomf, the uh, T-800 stamping down on the field of skulls and the laser battles and wow, brilliant film, love that. Truly a uh, one close to my heart. Uh, Dirty Harry, old Clint Eastwood. Uh, Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and then Deadpool. Again, best in order of release. Good films. Uh, oh, another Greyhound and a cheeky looking pug. Give him a squeeze. Very handsome. If they were here, they would be getting a severe fussing right now. Let me make you cross the beyond, beyond the vehicle. Clear. What other films? Stephen King adaptations. Because I've I see it. I was gonna say earlier, Gerald Seymour, I've recently started uh, Harry's Game. I was trying to think what I'd read before. I had a hardback Stephen King collection. So three stories. The Shining Misery. No, Shining Carry Misery. Uh, that was a good read. So Shining, the Jack Nicholson film, Carrie with Sissy Spacek, and Misery with uh, James Kahn and here's Kathy Bates in it. I think it was her first major role. Oh, come on, I've done it again. Too busy talking. So we'll spin it round, spin it round. But again, you can watch back the footage. I don't remember him saying reverse, but he might have done the wavy arms. But it's not a problem, no one's injured. We've got plenty of space, plenty of time. We're vibing, it's all cool. So yeah, they were good books. Carrie especially, I really enjoyed that. I've not seen the film yet, but I get the general gist. Basically, young girl in a town, sleepy town in America, bullied severely at home and at school goes mental, unlocks the telekinetic abilities, destroys the town. But the book, ah, um, yeah, Carrie was a really enjoyable read. The Shining was very, I found, deep and 
psychological thriller. Oh, it's horror as well, I suppose. That was a good book. And of course, Misery. Um, yeah, some truly graphic depictions. For any of you that haven't seen Misery, it's, uh, the short version is successful right successful american novelist has a car crash in the, in the canadian rockies someone comes across his car and rescues him turns out she's his number one fan stockholm syndrome she kidnaps him and basically will not let him go she won't let him recover and be released but the film has a notorious hobbling scene uh, in the car crash terrible leg injuries immobilizes him she makes him injuries much worse. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there's a notorious hobbling scene. It's quite graphic. It makes you cringe as you watch it. Much when you watch certain medical programs, you're like, oh. See, that was good. So yes, films, films, films. So Stephen King adaptations. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, ones I've seen, Misery, The Shining. Uh, Green Mile, oh, that is an incredible film and a very, very good book. Uh, Tom Hanks, late 90s. Brilliant film, we've not seen. It's quite a long burn, about two and a half, three hours long, but worth the bother, certainly. Very good book. Oh, Mr. Jangles, A Little Mouse, John Coffey, Wild Bill. Yeah. Um, what other films and books? Films, films, films. I've seen so many over the years. It's just. Uh, Steven Spielberg's first film, Duel, 1971. The truck that chases the car down the freeway, Dennis Weaver, very good film. Carrie Loftin was the unseen truck driver. You never see the occupant of the truck, you just see, you briefly see a bit of an arm. And also as he waves the car out on a uh, dangerous bend, that's a good film. Vanishing Point, Blues Brothers, as we were talking about yesterday, wicked film, funny and with good car stunts. Onwards. First answer not satisfactory. <laughs> but they sit less than eight feet apart, and you've probably heard the outcome of the phone call. Yeah, that's it. Left, of course. Yeah, left. That's what meant. Certainly. Yeah, it's done. It's a nice, lovely, sunny day today. Right? Life is good. Not a cloud in the sky that I can see, although I've got horrendous glare from the front. But yeah, I can't see a cloud out the window. Beautiful day, life is good. Handbrake on, because we're going to be here a short time, I imagine. Onwards. Start here, of course. Yep. Left, right, forwards. There you go, driving right, mate. Understood. Oh yeah, the reverse down the hedge. Yep, that's the one, mate. Yes. So right down that previous street. And three of this street. Other films, other films. Seven, David Fincher, the uh, serial, oh good Lord. John Doe, serial killer classic, Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt. Very good film. Oh, just, uh, Films have come to me throughout the day, but I'm trying to think of stuff immediately off the top of my head now. LA Confidential, can't remember the director, but I know it's got Russell Crowe and uh, Guy Pearce in it. William Cromwell, Kevin Spacey, Russell Crowe, I think I've already said Russell Crowe. Yeah, LA Confidential, I do like that. Uh, Untouchables, Brian De Palma, Sean Connery, uh, Kevin Cosner. Need to write that one down, possibly. Got three, so it's one of whatever this is. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, <laughs> lots of words now. Just 
trying to, well, concentrate in the immediate sense, but uh, also, see my guys are sort sorted. Yes, yeah, so I believe we nose down to that bit near the railings and then reverse down this hill here, if I remember correctly. Yes, films, films, films. He wants me to reverse it then. No problem, I can do that. So, hazards and rear fog, check the mirrors, all clear, watch the wee children. So hang it wide to get the maximum amount of angle of attack before I make the turn. Do it now. So, immobilise the motor. Mate, he's not dragging him across, is he? No, he's not, good. So yeah, let him sort that, and then we'll take a uh, gentle reverse back. We're good. So I've just spotted someone on the pavement directly behind us. So keep it in the road, all will be fine. We should be reversing down there, much as I expected once we've done this. So gently, gently, just keep an eye there's no children or adults crossing behind us. A policeman, it's a bit early for that kind of thing, isn't it? So it is, interesting. That's their business. So a bit more, I've got the camera showing me there's a bin directly behind, so a wee bit more. Bring it to a halt, so I can see a couple of bins behind, so I shall, I shall join matey. Thank you sir. That's too tight now, I can't move. At least it'll be safe. There we go. Uh, Harry Potter saga, of course. How can I possibly forget them films? Oh, them books and them films. Incredible. Even if you're an adult, give them a read. They're uh, very enjoyable. It's a whole universe to envelop yourself in. The old Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and, witchcraft and Wizardry. Sort this belt out. Why is it? Come on. Got to be gentle with it. There we go. Ah, that's better. Yes, range of movement. Oh man, what other films, what other films? So many. See a reverse down there and around. Give him the opportunity to get in if he wants to. Cool, cool. Capital. Yeah, I was curious about that as well. But he, he's going home, isn't he? He looked like he was. Yeah, so they are people, people, policemen of people too. Policemen as well. 2022. Got to be a bit more modern. going on there oh, your, that's with your pop top uh, no room for expansion yeah, crucial mistake oh too <laughs> modest man too modest too modest a bit more because I can see mate you coming up the alleyway I believe 
yes, it looks like he wants me up the alleyway, given that he's standing there now. So gently, gently, gently. Come on. There we go. I think there's four, five, six maybe back there. Yeah, yeah it's three pair I'm seeing. <laughs> Me, I okay. Yeah, yeah. You try to blot That's it out, that. though. Yeah. yeah. So buttons, buttons, buttons. Compactor. Yeah, you ain't gonna see toffee for there. Alert the driver. Pull the blade up. Emergency stop. Cool. So green automatic mode. Up and down. Travel mode, which lifts the legs when you're doing longer driving. Single bins, bulk bin operation. Thank you, sir. Cool. How many times? So one. How many times do you want the bins shaped and then a manual up and down? Sometimes on a bins when they're rammed full, or more particularly garden waste, when it's very heavy with soggy grass, if you put it on two or three shakes, it should empty the bin on the first time. But there's other times where a bin could be so rammed full, you get a similar effect if you just hold the up button. So when it reaches top travel of the lift, if you keep holding that up button, it bang, 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 bangs it quite a few times. And then each time you let go and keep holding that button, it repeatedly bangs it in an effort to uh, try and empty the bin. Wow. Yeah, pretty simple operation. So I've explained it in previous videos, but for some of you, this might be the first of my videos you've seen. Thank you, indeed. Done, done. Splendid. Thank you. Ugh. So no beep. Safe to move on now. <laughs> Sun's beating down here, yeah? <laughs> no, it? I was going to say, the buggy is getting old and that would be... No such thing. How vulgar, how rude. <laughs> this is hormones. Oh. Yeah. Insulation yeah. nation. Oh, I wonder if it's enough, uh, Dan, what was called it? You have the Goldie, the Goldie Oldie, wasn't it? That one that's sitting there by the green car, was that newly out or has that already been done? Well, that was done, it was that three out, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't think so. Okay, um, drive yeah, we'll on a couple of bins here. Yes. And then we're going to reverse it into this one here. Yes. Splendid, how fun. So, yes. Uh, there we go. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So, what's next for the channel? Well, uh, although I said previously I wasn't allowed to record videos, even though, despite what we are watching presently, um, I imagine, hopefully, although there is already a proliferation of such videos in there, car reviews and driving and all that kind of thing, possibly. I don't know. Uh, we're going. So he's being too hesitant. Yeah, so maybe car stuff. One thing I was considering, and if you've made it this far, please do tell me what you think. One. And two. Yeah, tell me what you think. I, one thing I was thinking of, in my inflated uh, self-worth and extreme arrogance, <laughs> some people said, so don't worry, I'm not printing out the quotes and framed them on a the wall. Some people said they like the sound of my voice. Maybe that is why the videos have the viewership they have. I think it's more likely to be the subject matter in that it's uh, an inside look of domestic waste collection. But it might be my voice, the, the uh, chat and the, uh, the words that I speak from my mouth hole. Another thing I was thinking of doing video wise, 
bit more, bit more, bit more. A bit more. There. Another thing I was thinking of doing was, uh, if you'll pardon my... Uh, pomposity. Visual audiobooks. I.e. me and a paperback reading to camera. As simple as that. Like Jack and Ori, but without kiddies, kiddie books and um, that kind of thing. So I was thinking like proper serious uh, fiction. Mm. <sighs> nice. Yeah, so I was thinking reading to camera, be it at home or maybe grab a deck chair and sit in scenic spots. Good. I don't know, you tell me. Um, I did think, oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, when I was on paper recycling a couple of weeks ago, I found a book of prose and poetry. Now, that is not normally my thing at all. That's very much GCC English, and then you leave it behind. Um, yeah, there's a, there was a lot of, there was quite a few interesting pieces in there, and I thought, hmm, like even just a YouTube short, a minute or so, reading something to camera, river in the background, Tweety Birds. Maybe that's something you might have enjoyed, but please do tell me in the comments. Say this is what probably about half hour, forty minutes in now. Do tell me what you think. If it's something that you'd like for me to do, that you guy, that electric one. Yep, Whisper Asylum. Good. He's good. He's good. He's good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. So reading to camera. So a chapter of video. I need to get a decent microphone. I can't rely on the GoPro alone because it's sound quality is middling. But the point of an audiobook visual whatever the case may be you're listening so if i was to do that i'd need to get an external microphone maybe a digital audio recorder but i'm not going to invest my time effort and resources into such an endeavor if the community ain't going to enjoy it so you'll need to tell me whether or not that's something that interests you uh, okay. there we go Assisted. Good. The reason why I keep asking that question, assisted is in, is the person uh, of a status whereby they are unable to get the bin by themselves. Quite a nice innuendo, euphemistic way I put it there. Basically, can they, are they unable to get their bin to the pavement? If so, we go collect. If they are not assisted, then the bin is just not out. Um, although I dispensed with a co courtesy coupon earlier, Strictly speaking, we're not allowed on private property to collect these bins unless permission has been sought by means of a, a assisted authorization, if you will. So for instance, if I went up that person's garden, I brought out a bin and didn't take it back, that could be classed as trespass. We've had that before. Indeed, Goldie suffered that. Um, he dragged someone's bin up the driveway for him as a courtesy, left it at the top for them to put back. And then they reported him to the office and said, if he doesn't bring the bin to the back front door in future, we're going to report him for trespass. So I calmly told him, you leave it wholesale. If they don't bring it up, it don't get done. Leave it. If they want to play silly buggers, that's a two-player game. Unbelievable attitude from these people. Oi, oi, that sounded rather calamitous. That sounds like something I might need to go help with. And see, got it sorted? Yeah, they're good, they're good. Um, that was glass smashing, so it must have been loose glass in a bag or something that fell out. Yeah. Um, eager. Understood. So, for instance, as you can see over there, four sacks of mess. Uh, we're not required to pick up extra waste, so yeah, it's written down. Uh, that phone has just stopped ringing. I can feel my one in the pocket ringing, but I'm busy driving, so that's going to have to wait for another time. And plus, we don't. Uh, we're not going to do all that on camera, even if I was outside the vehicle. So yeah, reversing was the instruction I received. So reversing we shall. So you want to bung a cuttle on before we tuck it in?
whilst we've got a brief opportunity, we'll quickly clean this screen because I'm seeing it's a bit smeary in the glare. There we go. Good, better. Is he done? He is done. Matey behind is clear, we're reversing in. Oh, I thought you were saying it's like a bin dip. No, cool man, all good, all good. Is that a regular mess occurrence, that? Or is that one off? Nah, it's more off than that. Like Fair enough. Yeah, I'll go tether or tapping up to my driver's car here, mate. No, sir. Nor do we anyway, do we? <clears throat> no, I'm not allowed to, mate. We are not allowed to. No, no loose sacks. I know many other authorities operate differently, but no, rules around here, bin, shut. Yeah, no waste on floor. Down, mate, there are three there, one up there. Yeah. That done then? Yeah. Cool, dude. All right, so I've got these three. Let's have a brief look. Yeah, missed call and a text message. Is your phone red? Is your phone red? It's been ringing. Driving left, right, yeah, or? Yeah, right, 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 right. Yep. Because I've also had a call. saw down there. Mm. We're in a house number, but I can't remember what street it was on. Oh, that doesn't matter. So yes, uh, audiobook videos. Um, yeah, tell us what you think. So I was thinking a chapter of, much like a, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Depending on the length of the videos. So if it's like five minutes chapter, it's 20 minutes. A chapter of video, episodic content. That's the words I've been looking for. Neutral, and break. Oh, what are you doing? Plum. Um, yeah, tell us what you think in the comments below. Whoa, Jesus, what's she doing? She's a bit eager, isn't she? Bloody hell, handsome dog. Yeah, I say this little toy car here, it can crash into the back of the vehicle. Yeah, I see that you've changed your tune now, stopping frequently, madam. Oh, she was going to crash in the back of the vehicle then. Such was the ferocity of a throttle application. Good Lord. Alright, 
identifies a bloke. Okay. Fair enough. Man, you identify as whatever you want, it's all cool. 2022, modern world, keep up. Bless you, too kind. Uh, and that one, just here please, my guy. Right, reversing right, very good. So I'll get these two sorted. Thank you for waiting. Tuck it in, so if the Volvo C C70 wants to go, they got the opportunity. Yes, they do. Nearly bought one of them, not me personally, my old man, Martin. He nearly bought one of them many years ago. We're talking like early 2000s, early mid 2000s. Instead, we've got a uh, E46 3 Series. 320Ci, sick. Uh, 51 plate, 2.2 straight six, auto. Lovely motor, really nice car. Smooth, comfortable, not rapid, but it was decent enough, about 170 odd horsepower, I believe. Five speed automatic, torque converter, none of this direct shift fun fanciness. Yeah, it's a good car, that. I like that. Nice drive as well. There we go. Uh, yes. Although it's not going to help a great deal, at least do some small token of help. Any more? That one good? I'm helping. Long gaps of silence here. I'm just trying to, well, I'm concentrating on the immediate task at hand. I'm also trying to think of something interesting to talk about. Obviously, well, if this was a radio program, silence would be death for the channel. Silence is no good. You might as well turn the machine off. But I don't necessarily feel like I've exhausted all my uh, chat. That's how I'm presently doing something else. So it does rather occupy the forefront of my mind. Creeping, 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 creeping. Just got to cut on reverse center drive. So we'll tuck it to the left, let them in, a bit more, a bit more. There we go. Cool. Yep. Understood. Thank you for your 
patience. <sighs> yeah. So another thing, yes, yes. Another thing I'd like to do on the channel. Um, again, it's a, it's a tried and tested formula elsewhere. Many other people have done it. Perhaps with greater success than I'll achieve. Uh, yeah, so as I said, the car review thing. But I'd like to do it with the owner on board. Much like... Um, you know, I'm living life fast. Officially gassed, is that what it's called? And regular car reviews of USA, a geese from Pennsylvania. Funny fella. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. So, me, myself and the uh, owner, their car, let's drive, let's talk, let's have a look. Uh, waiting for better weather. Weather is good though, it's a bit cold, it's preparation, it's the weekend, it's, it's getting things ready and in motion. Uh, that's something I'd like to do and I'd be very much open to uh, suggestions. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm having an issue with the GoPro recently where it's cutting off the last 10-15 minutes of clips I'm recording. So when you go into editing, I'm talking and then a clip will abruptly stop where in real life I was continue talking for 10-15 minutes further and for some reason it's been lost in translation. So I shall take this opportunity to say thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, uh, viewership, the interaction, the comments, warmth and positivity is always very welcome. So thank you for watching. So it's these from King and I. Hold on. You're a good lad. To say uh, have a good day, whoever you are wherever you are and whatever it is you do be good to each other thank you for watching stay safe be happy and cheerio stay safe